Ladies and gentlemen, I am ashamed of my country. We are finally hearing from the Port Authority about the GW bridge that has caused massive delays. The Port Authority says officials can't guarantee that it won't happen There's some again. delays out there at the George Washington Bridge. So first we'll take a live look at the span where you can see that no cars are really coming our way. In That's between, it was wall-to-wall -wall traffic last night. bridge that has caused massive delays. Media today I heard so many horror stories from people. Let me this is the exception, not the rule. Threatening to consume Governor Christie's administration. Today investigators released hundreds of documents that could shed more light on what happened. All the way up to the bridge, side streets were clogged also, and that was at 3 p.m., says Richard. It, it makes me ask about me, what did I do wrong? Some kind of malicious motive was behind the lane closures. And when he couldn't deny it anymore, oh my God, I'm heartbroken. Well, I don't buy it. I'm heartbroken about it. I'm just stunned. Say is more than 2,000 pages of documents related to the widening George Washington Bridge scandal were released today as the story threatens to spiral further out of the control of New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Human beings are not perfect. And you've got Christie operatives saying, you know, don't talk to the press about this, and they didn't even alert the Fort Lee police. I mean, it's, it's utter madness. <laughs> I am embarrassed and humiliated by the conduct of some of the people on my team. Working with Democrats and Republicans, believing that as long as you stick to your principles, compromise isn't a dirty word. He made us proud to say, we're from New Jersey. Chris Christie. The governor. That is definitely not what the people in New Jersey politics say. I've spoken with them as a reporter off the record, and they paint the picture of a very vindictive operation under Christie, where everyone, Democrats and Republicans, are scared of being punished for stepping out of line or crossing the governor. I am who I am, but I am not a bully. But New Jersey politics are full of examples like this over the last four years since Governor Christie has been governor. Politicians from either party cross Chris Christie in some way, then feel his wrath. This time, it was hundreds of thousands of innocent people trying to get to work, trying to get a response from an ambulance. You want to hear the answer or no? Do trying you to want go to hear about the, their daily lives. Do you want to hear the answer or no? Hundreds of thousands of people were all Idiot. collateral damage from some political revenge attack, the cause of which is still unknown. It was a local traffic jam on the approach to the busy George Washington Bridge behind me, linking New York and New Jersey. In September, unannounced lane closures backed up traffic into the New Jersey town of Fort Lee. The closures sparked accusations of political retribution against Fort Lee's Democratic mayor, Mark Sokolich, who did not endorse Republican Governor Chris Christie during his successful re-election bid. Fort Lee Mayor Mark Sokolich. What do you think these closures were about? I was punished because I didn't, um, I guess I didn't support the governor in his re-election bid. Sokolich says the closures caused days of gridlock in his city, delaying emergency vehicles and putting residents at risk. If there are any other cases of political retribution that were conducted during your campaign to other mayors in the city? And I have no interest in answering your question. He's very thin-skinned. Are you, are you stupid? He gets offended very easily, and he holds a grudge. Prosecutors may be looking at a RICO charge against the office of Governor Chris Christie. Is there a case that the bridge closings, the possible denial of hurricane relief money to Hoboken, the accusations of interfering with the judicial proceedings, evidence of a criminal enterprise? I feel humiliated by this. I'm a person who cares deeply about doing my job well. Most of new allegations tonight, the mayor of Hoboken saying a member of the governor's staff threatened her, saying she had to support one of Christie's projects or get no federal money after Sandy. I wouldn't be surprised if there were other mayors who follow what Don Zimmer did and say basically, yes, I had a similar exchange with the Christie administration. I really yesterday was blindsided by this. I'm not happy I was blindsided. I'm not proud I was blindsided. This is the tip of the iceberg. When documents start coming out, when emails start coming out, the U.S. 
attorney could start investigating one thing and end up prosecuting something very, very different. It would not be the first time. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there were other mayors who follow what Don Zimmer did and say basically, yes, I had a similar exchange with the Christie administration. I'm sad. I'm sad. That's the predominant emotion I feel right now is sadness. Sadness that I was betrayed by a member of my staff. Sadness that I had people who I entrusted with important jobs who acted completely inappropriately. I demand on this program a Chris Christie moment every day. <laughs> some sort of a uh, some sort of a common sense. I'm sorry, I'm not into porn, <laughs> but I want a little Chris Christie porn, common sense porn every day on this program. I have something better to do. I have to rearrange my sock drawer tonight. They represent an anger in our country that Barack Obama has caused. I was blindsided. I was betrayed. I was blindsided. So stupid. So deceitful. Because stupid. He is a cynical, I was cynical, betrayed. I was blindsided. Chicago so stupid. Politics. So deceitful. Stupid. Deceitful. I was blindsided. I was betrayed. So stupid. Stuck in traffic on the GWB. They shut down the toll booths of glory because we didn't endorse Christie. Sprung from cages on highway, now we got three lanes closed. So, Jersey, get your ass in line. Oh! We gotta get out, but we can We're stuck in Governor Chris Christie's Fort Lee, New Jersey traffic train. 